Model 3 came into the world on Friday night, and I've got all your details. Here's Tesla Tidbits episode number 275 for July 31st, 2017. Before I start, I want to give credit to Tesla Directly, Tesla Rati, Electrek, Model 3 Owners Club, and the Tesla Show as sources for all the material you'll hear in tonight's show. Thanks so much for your outstanding coverage, folks. So, Model 3 was finally presented to the world Friday night. Sort of. The presentation itself really was light on details, with the notable exception of price and range of the cars. So let's start there. After much speculation on range, the base car will be able to travel 220 miles on a single charge, and with no options, hits the promised $35,000 price point promised over a year ago. The huge surprise, though, is the longer range car is capable of 310 miles on a single charge, and with no options, carries a price tag of $44,000. So for 100 bucks a mile, you can really beef up the range of the car. Another interesting bit is that Tesla has told multiple sources that they're shying away from using kilowatt-hour designations on the Model 3, believing that battery capacities are confusing to customers, and ultimately the only metric that matters is the range of the car. So you won't be seeing any kilowatt-hour designations as we do on the Model S and Model X. On the performance side, no information was given for the performance model of the car, but Elon did respond to Ride the Lightning's Ryan McCaffrey on Twitter saying that it would likely not begin production until mid-next year. But the performance of the existing models is known. We already knew the base model would do 0-60 to 60 in 5.6 seconds. The top speed of that model is 130 miles per hour. The longer range pack will get to 60 in 5.1 seconds with a top speed of 140 miles per hour. Next up is the new tech in the car. First up is getting into and starting the car. The key card which had been spotted is only part of the whole picture. That key card is actually what you'd give a valet or a friend that needed to drive your car. To gain access to the car, you simply tap the card to the B pillar just below the autopilot camera and the doors will unlock. To start the car, a tap between the front seats will get the job done. But the actual access method is the Tesla app on your phone. Model 3 owners will rely on their cell phones to access their car utilizing Bluetooth low energy technology. Not sure if you're aware of some of the smart home locks out there, but they work the same way. You walk into range of the lock and tap it to gain access to the house. In the case of the Model 3, you get in the driver's seat, press your brake pedal, and away you go. Next, more than ever, more buttons, levers, and switches are disappearing from the car, and the screen is controlling as much as possible. The most impressive is the way the heating and air conditioning direction is controlled. There are no manual controls on the front vents. Touching the fan control on the screen brings up controls on the screen to direct the air to where you touch. The next thing is the side view mirror adjust adjustments. Activating the mode on the screen to move the mirrors enables the steering wheel controls to move the mirrors. It turns out the steering controls aren't scroll wheels as much as they are scroll balls, and they can go left and right as well as up and down. The left control operates the left mirror, and the right control operates the right mirror. Finally, the way the doors are open from the inside has a bit of a change as well. Instead of a traditional handle, you just press a button which releases the latch to open the door. This works much the way it does on Model S and Model X as the pull handles are just mechanisms to activate the electronic latch release on the door. And then lastly, we have the ordering process. Screens have leaked from the Design Studio, and the new Design Studio reported back in episode 244 is indeed the home of Model 3 configuration. Strictly based cars starting at $35,000 will begin availability in the fall this year, and if you want an all-wheel drive car, you're waiting at a minimum until spring next year per the configurator. But if you want a car in the initial wave of shipments, you're going to have a rear-wheel drive car with the larger battery and the premium upgrades package at a base cost of $49,000. You can then decide your color and wheel type and whether or not you want autopilot and full self-driving. Speaking of wheels, the default wheel type is the 18-inch aero wheels that we saw a little more of recently. Forking over $1,500 extra dollars will get you the upgrade to the 19-inch sport wheels that look like Elvis pants. A nice touch on the option front is that all non-black color choices are $1,000, instead of the multi-coat paints being $1,500. Many speculated that Autopilot would be cheaper on this car, but as I cautioned everyone saying so, it is not. Still $5,000 for Enhanced Autopilot and $3,000 to add on the full self-driving option. Same hardware, same price. 
That aforementioned premium upgrades package you're going to have to buy if you're looking to get the car now differs a bit from the one on its older brethren. The features listed on the package are as follows. Premium heated seating and cabin materials throughout, including open-pore wood decor and two rear USBs. 12-way power-adjustable front seats, steering column and side mirrors with custom driver profiles. Premium audio system with more power, tweeters, surround speakers, and subwoofer. Tinted glass roof with ultraviolet and infrared protection. Auto dimming, power folding, heated side mirrors. LED fog lamps. And center console with covered storage and docking for two smartphones. So, super interesting to note, it looks like non-premium interior will not include power seats on Model 3. I have reached out to Tesla and Elon on Twitter for verification, but for right now, that's what it looks like. In addition, if you're looking to get non-cloth seats, you'll have to opt for the premium package. Of all the iterations of this option in Tesla's history, this one seems to give you the most bang for your buck. So that's it for the launch of the Model 3. Be sure to send me any questions you may have. I'll be happy to answer to the best of my knowledge. Now we'll see what kind of news we get trickling out after the fact. I imagine we've sort of exhausted the supply for a little while, so stay tuned to my social media channels to find out if we have shows for a given night. You can find the links to today's full stories in the show description. This show operates on a value-for-value model. If you get some value out of what I bring you each day, please consider giving a little value back at patreon.com slash Tidbits. Thanks very much to my super patrons, John Waltower, Drew Schuyler, John Waller, Mark and Sarah Thomas, Ryan Scarborough, Lee Sweet, William Henry Crew III, Dory and Steve Guberman, and Bruno Quindici. If you have no extra cash available, that's fine. Please show your love with positive feedback and subscriptions on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, and other services across the internet, or keep the show referral code in mind if you're in the market for a Tesla. That code is ts.la slash jon4602, and it will get you $1,000 off the car and free supercharging for the life of the vehicle. That's all for tonight. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits. I'll see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.